welcome everyone i am going to take a topic about glacier melting and differential calculus in sea level rising first let's start from the basics global warming global warming is the long term heating of earth's climate system observed since the pre industrial period between 1850 and 900 1900 due to human activities primarily fossil fuel burning which increases heat trapping greenhouse gases levels in earth's atmosphere causes for global warming greenhouse gases are the main reasons for global warming cause 1 variation in sun's intensity cause 2 industrial activity cause 3 agricultural activity cause 4 deforestation cause 5 earth's own feedback loop when we burn fossil fuels like carbon to produce electricity heat and more they emit greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide co2 and methane these gases trap the sun energy in the earth's atmosphere as heat scientists call this process a, a feedback loop due to heat changes especially to relevant high temperatures the glaciers melting occurs a process where the ice changes from solid to liquid or water in the recent past scientists have discovered an alarming rate of glacier melting a picture of glacier melting which is very dangerous to our land glaciers in context there are an estimated 160000 glaciers on earth of which the himalayan ranges encompasses about 15000 glaciers afghanistan has, has approximately 3000 glaciers india has 9575 glaciers under the agents of geological society of india pakistan glaciated area is 15000 km square including 5218 glaciers with 2738 kilometer cube of ice reserves their area a total of 2420 glacier lakes of which 52 are dangerous there are 3252 glaciers in nepal and 2323 glacier lakes of which 20 were discovered potentially dangerous bhutan has 677 glaciers occupying an area of around 1317 km square and an estimated ice reserves of 127 km cube There are 2,674 glacial lakes, of which 24 was considered potentially dangerous. Glaciers of Himalaya. The Himalaya are home to the third largest deposit of ice and snow in the world. Only Arctic and the Arctic have Antarctic have more than Himalayas. These glaciers feed some of the planet's most important river system directly and indirectly, supplying billions of people with water, energy, and incomes. this tabular column i have mentioned few rivers which are fed by the himalayas sea level rising average global sea level rose by 1 to 2 mm per year during 1900s and is projected to continue rising with an estimated contribution of 0.2 to 0.4 mm per year from melting issues the effect of glaciers may be underestimated however as recent study suggests that the accelerated melting in alaska and the potagona ice field since the mid 1990s had increased the combined contribution of just these two areas to 0.375 mm per year 20 century lead to erosion and the loss of 100 square kilometer of wetlands per year in the usa mississippi river delta in the trinana and the tobongo as in many low lying islands beaches are retreating several meters per year and salinity levels are beginning to rise in coastal aquifers small pacific islands such as tonga the marshall islands and the federated system of micros micronesia are particularly vulnerable and could lose large portions of their land area to ri- rising sea and storm surges and global level rise of 1 m would energize 80 percentage of maldives displace 24 million people in bangladesh india and indonesia and completely eliminate the sundarbans the world's largest mangrove forest and home to the endangered royal bengal tiger and the hundreds of other species differential calculus in mathematics differential calculus is used to find the rate of change of quantity with respect to other in case of finding a function in increasing or decreasing functions in a graph to find the maximum and minimum value of a curve development of mathematics as one of the most important achievements of human and the development of the calculus both differential calculus and integral calculus is one of the most important achievements in mathematics 
the practical applications of differential calculus are so wide ranging that it would be impossible to mention them all here suffice to say that differential calculus is an indispensable tool in every branch of science and engineering in elementary mathematics there are two main applications of dif differential calculus one is to help in sketching curves and the other is to optimization problems solutions Evidence that global warming is occurring, it is now clear that the earth is warming rapidly due to man-made emission of carbon dioxide and other heat-trapping gases which blanket the earth and cause temperature to rise. We should at least can support meaningful global warming legalization, improve the energy efficiency of power plants, increase their use of renewable energy sources and halt investment in new coal power plant and coal mining. Thank you.